too many things, and yeah. then they get too worried about it. They just like to stay in their comfort zone. Uh, but, of course, what we saw the first time in the first S&D, replays, first thing, bans the SVG. This time, John, his teammate, going to do that for him. You know, it's funny because we, we talked about replays and some of the plays he's been able to make with the sniper rifle in his hand, and uh, I definitely wouldn't have expected LG to kind of ban that out. But, you know, it worked for them in the first search and destroy. Let's see if it, it could work out for them here. There go the tacticals as well. So talking a bit more about the perk three choice. No real reason to run Tacmas here. Yeah, of course. And I mean, this is a pretty much a similar ban for every single match we've seen so yeah. far. They don't like playing with the tacticals at all. Well, camo still in play here. Overdrive still in play. Well, overclock is Rapid fire as well. That's gonna go. Rapid fire is definitely going to go. I'd have to imagine that gets rid of, or it gets taken care of almost every single time. Uh, I, I guess there are still a few important questions. But active camo, I wouldn't be surprised if it stays in. Spacely's um, waiting for Nezzle to ban rapid fire, and Nezzle's waiting for Spacely to do it. Nezzle's finally going to just say, hey, Let's just get rapid fire out of the game. So it's going to be spacey with the last man, and he's going to take out the smoke screen. And that is basically as straightforward as you could possibly be. So uh, TK not trying to mix things up. It looks like they're going to try and fix their mistakes they made on fringe S&D uh, in a different manner. But of course, as you said, this map plays completely differently. It's very yeah. tough on offense to go to the A bomb side uh, because you're going to get spotted pretty much well, immediately. So whenever you go fast. over towards A, man, it's kind of like an all-in play. And you need something like a psychosis or a camo to try to aid you in getting that first blood. But this is certainly a map where where you could see the Shiva come into play, a lot of long range lines of sight. All the secondaries make it through, so you could be pretty comfortable with the MR6 or LCAR, even the RK5 in your back pocket. Yeah, and of course, uh, we talked about a little bit. This is a very uh, what if kind of hypothetical, but overkill again, still in play. Will we see a shotgun come out? You know, uh, the B bomb site is very popular. Everyone just hangs out in lab. Probably like, you know, 70, 80% of the gunfights go down inside of there. Shotgun would be the perfect thing to have if you can utilize it properly, uh, if you don't miss your shots. Once again, man, I'm looking for overdrive to make a big play here. I'm still not completely sold on it, but these players, they have to be picking it for a reason. Maybe they save it for you know some of the later stages in a specific round, but you know every time I've seen Overdrive use it, it's been in the first two seconds. Here's another question for you, Revan. Uh, okay. You do see Psychosis coming in for TK in the hands of Gunjar. You mentioned how that is something you can use to push the A bomb site. Now on the other side of the board, Overdrive, Active Camo, Heat Wave, and Glitch. Maybe Active Camo, but do you really see there being any situation uh, where Luminosity is going to push A on offense? Yeah, with that Active Camo, it's going to be off the back of that because you can manage Camo around that middle tree and easily spat out you know the one defensive player that's going to be at the a bomb site and it should be almost a guaranteed first blood as long as you just don't miss your shot or fall off the map yeah uh, that has definitely happened before never yeah, after burner makes it through here so wall yeah. running going to be very pre prevalent yeah but just things to keep in mind and again uh glitch another one it's kind of we're just wanting to see the big plays with it but uh, of course pretty much it's, it's not really about the big play from glitch it's more about getting some consistent use basically it did use it in a good manner in the last map you know just using it to stay alive in the round and stop a kill coming in from TK. Yep, important uses for all of these things. And of course, Heat Wave, we've seen uh, a few fails with a few successful things, but uh, ever important things. You know, a specialist can basically single handedly win you a round almost. Yeah. It's just you have to use it properly. You can't panic with the Heat Wave and just when you get scared, use it. Uh, you have to use them uh, in an effective manner. And of course, score streaks is another thing. Uh, we saw Burns Off was in a situation yesterday where he was in a 1v4. The bomb was down on the open bomb site on Breach. He had a lightning strike, he had a hellstorm. Can you go for the hero play to try and end it out? Like, in potentially work because, you know, yeah. very open bomb site. He has two things to work with. He elected to just, you know, basically give up the round uh, and play with the next one. He yeah. still had this. I think that was definitely the smarter play to do. But if you want to be a flashy player and go for that 1v4 clutch, sure. Well, go ahead and use all your tools that you could use to win later rounds. Smarter play, sure. But I just want excitement. That's the <laughs> only thing I care about. I want crazy things to happen. I want it to be a 1v4. Some guy glitches out and infuses the bomb. Well, that would actually never happen. Actually, now that I think about it, Spacely has had one of the most impressive yeah. plays I do believe with glitch on he's hunted. on hunted S and D yeah there's like 7.9 seconds left and he glitches back like lands on the bomb and gets the defuse so uh, a lot of different situations these things can occur uh, obviously again this is all conjecture and we'll see how it plays out gonna be on board with luminosity first on offense uh, and it looks like of course they are going towards the b-bomb yeah this is gonna be a fast push from LG they only have one assault rifle to play so they need to close that gap very quickly between them and the TK players and immediately replays finds Nezzle John's there to follow up onto Sharp. Gunjar does answer back for TK. 
as he takes down Spacey, but man advantage for the time being in favor of Luminosity. Yeah, and Gujar is going to get tagged up as well. You see John going to try and hunt down that kill. Theory, though, watching the back, uh, it looks like he is going to be able to pick up one, but now he's going to be by himself. The Gujar got taken down from a player inside of Labzo. So he can kind of thrust off the ledge here and spot that B-bomb site, but he's going to challenge with the RK5. Does get some good shots into John, but Saints is there to help him out. Theory's forced to back up and reposition. Yeah, and it does appear that Luminosity is probably just going to get this bomb down uh, pretty much right away. They do have a player that's going to be providing cover. That's going to be Saints looking over top just of yet. Not yet. It looks like they're actually going to have the perfect rotation as well because Theory is now coming. Theory is going to know this right now. But he's going to have to move fast, and it looks like that is going to be the case. Might even spot a player uh, in the back, but that's not going to be the case. Going to see if Saints is going to be able to provide this proper defense. That player is just going to run straight past oh. him. Theory, though, wins the first gunfight. Jumping over shot. Oh! the second. Gets the kill on John. John was not looking up, and that is a very important round. That is, you know, you imagine they go down 6-1 the first time in S&D. Things are not looking yeah. good. That yeah. looked like a bad round for them you know they had the first two bloods that was a 2v4 clutch we're gonna be able to see this Gujar, again in the round ending kill cam too uh, it nuts play for theory just in general but very important for this series as well it gets the two bursts just is up too high and john doesn't even get a bullet on him yeah tough tough kill for john to make after theory picked up the kill on the saints he spotted john coming right off that bomb site and i think that's the play that tk needed that's going to spark some Spark a fire under them. Let's see if they can keep it going here. Theory already has the HC to work with. One of the first games where we see this make it through the ban and protect process. Well, TK, it looks like they're going to elect to go with more or less the same strategy that Luminosity did. Yeah. Going to be working this B bomb site. And, of course, Luminosity has a pretty much standard stack. One but player watching the flank on A. Replays, though, going to get the first blood. Saints doing the same thing. That's going to be Neslo and Theory again for the 2v4. And, well, instantly they're going to even it up at a 2v2. So we got Neslo and Theory going against Spacely and John. Gunfight's going to be going down here shortly. Spacely is going to be coming on the flank. However, though, the two, players, both of them. Well, the two players from TK are going to be next to each other. They actually just uh, basically basically lined up for him for a yeah. second, and John was able to come in for the pick. So things just not working out for TK. They are not getting these first bloods. Yeah, TK, you know, unfortunately, they just go down earlier in the round. Kind of like the same story of the first one, except they don't leave the room for TK to clutch this one. Spacely wisely backs up. He's got John to give him some help over near the middle of the map. As LG, they recover from that 1v2 clutch from Theory, and they take their first round. Still, though, uh, I'm pretty sure Theory does have that HC card yeah, in didn't his back pocket. Yeah. So uh, just trying to keep that in consideration as the round goes on. And Luminosity, I, I don't really think they need to switch anything up on offense. Obviously, they got the first bloods last time. They just have to be able to convert those rounds. And players have already been spotted. Replace all that player across. Also spot player by the tree. And Saints is going to be the guy trying to do the dirty work. Sharp, though, he's able to pick up two, and he's able to escape with his life. He has not gotten traded yet. Just ran right underneath replay. Still, though, it is a 2v2 situation. Uh, it looks like Saints is going to come flying over Tarp. Sharp, though, going to be going for that ace. He picked up the first three. Now it's going to be him against replays, and replays is running away from the bomb. Well, he's got afterburner, so he's going to be able to close his gap, but they might actually find each other here. Replays does spot Sharp, but Sharp it doesn't even think... I don't think he knows that the bomb is down. I'm sure if he had that information, he wouldn't be anywhere near the side of the map, but both these players are going to spot each other here. Sharp wins the engagement, the 1v1 there, as he gets the ace in the third round. You know, the previous round that Luminosity was able to win, that's the only round they were able to convert. Now we're just seeing clutches coming out of TK because, again, like the first two go down, but then Sharp comes big, gets the ace. Like yeah. TK right now, at the very least, is making the big plays necessary, uh, and they're looking a lot better, more on form. They already have more rounds than they did in their first search and destroy. Yeah, by quite a bit. Not a good look, but, of course, they are going to be back on offense. Still, though, uh, the active camo has not come in, so you have to imagine they're going to be once again, and that is going to be the case. Yeah, they also have a two HCs now to work with, so they could use that to kind of intro into the B bomb site, and that's exactly what Sharp has in mind here. Just going to spot for players initially, but he will find one at the bottom of the bridge, but the EMP's coming out from Luminosity, taking down that HC very early on. Well, the only tactical that pretty much didn't get banned, that and smokes, uh, are going to be used pretty effectively. So TK, this is something we saw similar on Fringe. They try to make a push, they get stopped, and then Luminosity just picks them apart. But now you can see TK Late rotation. instead nice. going for the rotation over to A, but still there is a player, Spacely, that has just been waiting for this the entire time. He sees one, spots two. Now you're going to see Luminosity either rotate back or go for the push. Spacely, though, winning able to find his a kill? fights. Yeah, and he's probably going to get a second as well because they're just going to challenge Sharp. Finally able to take him down, and he's going to move on to this A. 
bomb site, but they are working with the man disadvantage. Gunjar, though, watching the flank, has one in his sights. He is going to get traded more than likely. Replays takes him down sharp in a 1v2. He's going to get spotted out. He's he pushing push to run fire. away from the player. Doesn't win the gunfight either. Yeah. They're both going to be the one shot, and replays eventually able to come on the flank to get those kills. So again, Luminosity, they do the correct thing. They stop the initial push, then they send the proper amount of people on the flank, and they just make sure they trade their kills. I mean, Spacey just goes huge for his team. Not only is he able to just stall that push from TK, like, as soon as he spotted out, really that information to his team, right away they rotated, started making their way over towards the A bomb site. Space is even able to find two kills right there. It was just as huge for, for that specific situation. TK unable to find that opening kill on the Space League, and that's what led them to lose the round. Well, it looks like Overdrive is actually going to get popped by John, okay. who is moving very quickly through the map. Well, he's going like, to beat everybody else here. Well, he did get EMP'd, so he's going to get stopped in his tracks, but he's going to hunt this player down. Okay. He was one one shot, so. Oh, he's going to continue to push? Uh, he's going crazy. Luminosity again getting the first blood as well. Replay is going to strike. John wins the gunfight as well, making the plays for the team. That is a very quick 2v4. Make it a 2v3. Actually, there was a kill that came in, but now at this point, Spacely picks up a kill. Gunjar in a 1v3. TK has made some pretty big plays, but I have to imagine this one's going to be over, and Gunjar is just going to get yeah. shot in the side and cleaned up very, very quickly. So a very dominating round by Luminosity. So what did you think of that overdrive? Was that a, a good use by your standards? Like, he, he did... Gained some initial position over near the B bomb site. I guess, you know, from what we've seen on the defensive end for both these teams, is, you know, they kind of fled through that B bomb site and kind of push up a little bit. Did force Sharp back, and in the end, you know, that, that opening. LG were able to utilize it and win the round. It's really tough to tell just because, you know, it, he gets there just a, a handful of seconds quicker than he would have yeah. anyway. Obviously, Sharp's he did stand out, but we'll see how it works out for Sharp now, if he can pull off the John. But honestly, the way TK's style is gone, I think if he runs into a similar situation to John, he's not going to push. He's going to overdrive here, and, well, he actually doesn't have a gunfight, so he's just going to get complete clearance of the B-bomb site because Luminosity, look at what they're doing, sending three players on the flank all through A. Oh, and replays with the double just, nade, takes down Sharp, uh, takes down Nelson as well that's going to stop the bomb from being planted as LG they stacked a three-man flank it's going to work out perfectly here Saints picks up their third kill in the round it's all down to theory and he gets shut down immediately after that great round from luminosity I, I really like TK's position right there right you know they get towards the B bomb site they don't see any kind of opposition from the luminosity players immediately go for that quick plant but replay is going huge with that double nade no flak jacket no trophy systems to protect their players uh, TK lose the round from there. Like, there's not even strategy to talk about for that. Like, yes, there was a three-man flank coming in. Yes, that might have been a very good play call, but picked up a double nade, that's, like, the only thing that matters in that situation. Uh, and you do see that, well, Replays himself is rocking flak jacket. He definitely takes care of how many nades there are, but TK, it's been a kind yeah, it's of a It's going to be a camo A push. HC first. Okay. And he's going to spot this aggression from TK, so John able to open things up. Theory. He's going to get really hurt by that HC. John's there to trade the kill, and this round couldn't be going better for Luminosity. They get two kills over near the A bomb site. TK bite on it. They're going to rotate over it, and that leaves nobody here over at the B site. John. He's going to be able to get this plant off very easily. Yeah, Luminosity pretty much with the perfect counter in that situation. They're going to get the bomb down straight away. Sharp, though, able to pick up one kill. He's got an ace earlier. Maybe he's going to be able to do the same thing in this situation. But John gets the bomb plant. Him, Spacely, and Saints are all setting themselves up. You got one guy watching mid-map. That's exactly where Sharp comes from. And, that and is they didn't Luminosity. even have to use camo there. No, that's what I'm saying. The HC car was the push yeah. down to A. You know, he didn't get the kill, picked up the hit marker, and you saw the three players from TK were rushing. They got halfway, and they were, oh, crap, we got to turn around. And at that point, it's too late. They're getting shot in the yeah. back. So Luminosity, like, I, I, do they have TK's number in S&D? Because it looked good early on, but the two round wins that TK has, they have to make some pretty nice plays. Yeah. That's a sharp ace and a theory and Gunjar, like, 2v4. So other than that, it's been all Luminosity, and they're probably going to close this one out here. Well, Theory still has his HC from, what was it, like the first round he got yes. this? He's going to go ahead and deploy it now. Also has camo to use after this, so that's something that can definitely aid TK into a round win. But LG, they have a couple rounds to play with, and they can afford to do some crazy things like this. Replay's going all the way in the water. He's going to find one player here, and he will get met with Goonjar as uh, Goon will get first blood. And the HCXD from Theory will find John. So good round so far from Team Caliber. Yeah, replay seemed intent on trying to swim around to pick up that HC carrier, but didn't even bother to shoot back, so he's going to get dropped. Saints and Spacely, though, in an okay situation as far as 2v4s go because Spacely was able to spot two players crossing, but that player's going to get the bomb down, gets taken down. Goonjar making sure to get the trade. That's going to leave Saints Ooh. in a one versus three. And Goonjar. Shots he got at least point. three there. Yeah, in that situation, shots looking nice. Might have even got an HC car himself because obviously that has allowed uh, Theory to get a kill. Not a kill, but to open up the map at least. Yeah. 
You know, we talk about the HC so many times, you know, the utility you get out of that score streak. But, you know, TK, they also got some specialists to work with uh, quickly going into the ninth round here. I just want to see what's available for both these teams. So replays, he's got nothing. Glitch available for Spacely. Overdraft for John. He's going to go ahead and pop it. Heat wave for Saints. I want to switch back over to John. And once again, he's using it in the same manner he did earlier when he earned it. And he's going to be met with some TK opposition here. With that early position, get some shots down, but no kill made just yet. Yeah, there's also two players right now in mid-map for TK. John and Space okay. are pushing the exact same time, and Gunjar is perfectly okay with that. Uh, and very, very quickly, replays is going to be left in a 1v3. I don't know if I agree with Gunjar going uh, for this HC car call. It is a 1v3 situation, but that is going to be the case, and replays is absolutely nowhere near anything. So, Well, I mean, he's gained so much information over near the B side. I'm surprised that nobody from Luminosity kind of or from Team Caliber rotated over towards the, the A site. Now, finally, you're going to see Theory slowly make his way over there. But I, I guess they do have the bomb down, so that they're playing around that fact as the replays are trying to gain some position. He's spotted as he backs up Theory. He should close this kill out shortly, but he's going along the wall run. It's only a matter of time, I think, before Theory closes it out. And there you go. Long range with the pistol shot. TK, they're making this a game. They take their fourth round, forcing round 10. Yeah, and even in that situation, like, they don't really have to rotate back to check A because yeah. I'm assuming they knew the bomb yeah, was down. They, like, they, knew they the got so many down. kills, and then Theory just has to turn and watch the cross. Easiest thing in the world for TK to be able to pull off. So I was counting them out. They go down 5-2. to two. I thought Luminosity had in the bag, but TK is at least making it interesting. And I have to imagine Gunjar has at least an HC call, right? Uh, he's, he's got on. Psychosis. Well, he used his HC there. Oh, yeah, they also the have camera. Camo, so this might be the play where, where they decide to camo push over towards A. But uh, as Siri makes his way over towards back bunker, doesn't look like they have that in mind. And it looks like all of TK is going for a very patient swim, just kind of cooling down a little bit, maybe. Maybe they're trying to fake him out and wait for the rotation to come in from Luminosity away from the B-bomb site, then make their push. Uh, it'll be kind of interesting to see if that's how that plays out. But uh, either way, all eight players up on the map. The Psychosis did pop from Gunjar. They have showed their hand. They're going towards this B-bomb site. The first Blood has to go down soon. It looks like the nades again. The thorn in the side of TK. John, John for his blow. Oh man, coming along the flank, it's gonna be Spacely. TK, they have no idea this is coming out. They're so focused on the B bomb site. Spacely also used his glitch in the previous round, so he no longer has that to use, but he's certainly in a position to make something happen. TK, they're so unaware of this. Spacely already doing damage. He finds Gunjar, makes it down to a four on two, make it three on two as Nezzo responds by taking down Saints. Well, Fury was involved in the first two v four clutch to start the round. John though is gonna shut him down immediately. Nezlo's gonna have to go huge for the team, or they're gonna be down three one in the series. Or actually, I don't even know if I can count, but Nezlo does have bomb. He's got that going for him, and he is gonna be able to get this plant. But still, I have to imagine Luminosity is gonna swarm very very quickly. Yeah, tough situation for Nezlo. Has to reload after this as well. He's only got thirteen bullets to work with as. Now Luminosity, they're setting up for a pinch. You could see exactly what they're doing. They're waiting for Spacey to get in position. They spotted Nezlo, and now Nezlo has to make a decision. Pushes John. John cleans up the kill, and that's going to do it. Luminosity Gaming, they're going to take Redwood Search and Destroy, and with that, the series chances. They take it 4-1 to one over Team Caliber. Yep, and welcome to single elimination. TK came all the way here to play five maps, and they are now eliminated. Uh, they showed a little bit of life on the uplink, I believe it was. They looked pretty good over on EVAC, but other than that, Luminosity just pretty much had their way with them, uh, and they will be moving on, but TK, we'll see you later. Yeah, LG showing a very good performance here as uh, they will progress forward in the tournament. I give give it up to TK. I mean, you know, they fought hard that last map. They also won the EVAC uplink, but in the end, they just couldn't respond to what LG had to offer. Yep, that's going to be it for us on the series, though. 